Okay, here we are again at the Eat Ass main menu. So, help system, how do we get to it? Well, for the purposes of this video, we're gonna navigate using the left side of the screen. Please place your cursor where it says enter option desired. We're just going to use the singular letters. In a separate video further down the line, I'll show you how to do all the hot key sexy stuff. But for right now, we're gonna start with the basics. So please press an H at the enter option desired and then press enter. Okay, so eat as Google. Yes, <laughs> there are two parts to this screen. The top part of the screen you can only use if you know the screen name and the field value. Field values in, in this program is what we call a code, really. So the screen name is what you're going to find on the screen when you're trying to run a query, and then the field value is the code associated with that screen name. Uh, an example is this. So let's say the screen name given to you is P-M-O-S-E-N. The field value you already know. We all know them as MOSs. So let's try 11 Bravo. Now that you've typed that in, press enter. What you find is you're being given the screen name again, the title, which is most important because it tells you what the screen name means. In this instance, screen name means prime, this screen name, P-M-O-S-E-N, means primary military occupational specialty enlisted. The field value or code is 11 Bravo, and the code definition or what the field value means is infantrymen. Now we're gonna return to the HK screen. You're gonna go to the right-hand side of your screen where it says where next, and we're gonna use what I call a hotkey, HK, press enter. Now we're going to use the bottom of the screen, and there's a bunch of different ways you can search uh, for keyword values. I personally like to narrow my searches using asterisks, but if I don't know what I'm looking for, I use forward slashes and backslashes. We're going to show you what that looks like today. I'm not telling you anything in this video that you cannot read on the screen for yourself. Literally, the bottom half of the screen says, to search for a keyword, enter the data element and the keyword value. The screen name that we are going to use is the same one. I want to make this as easy to understand as possible. So please type in P-M-O-S-E-N. Now let's say that you don't know what the field value is. You have no idea what the MOS could be. Well, if you don't know, absolutely, then you want to search for all values. So you want to enter the symbol here on the line and then press enter. Now that took a while. Well, it took a while because it just gave you 227 records. You're now looking at every single possible MOS in the EDAS system. It's a lot to go through. It's a way to search, possibly not the most effective way. So we're gonna return to HK and then I'm gonna show you an easier way. Now you're gonna type in the screen name all over again. And now we're going to use asterisks, something that I like to narrow my thoughts to. So let's say that you don't know the field value, but you do know what encompasses the MOS. Um, say something like infantry. Place an asterisk. And you could probably just press INF and place another asterisk. Press enter. Now you're looking at every MOS that has the word or the letter combination INF. Um, that's only nine records. Big difference from 227. So you can take whatever MOS you need off this screen. On the left hand side, you'll see the field value, and that's the code that you write down to continue your search. Go to the where next, type in HK, and press enter. That concludes the use of HK.